Hey guys, Josh here from Let's Build a Website, and welcome to part 3 of the HTML CSS series. Um, and for this video, we are going to be learning the difference between margins and padding. So, if you watched the part 1 video, you would notice that I already did add some margins, which is right here. And basically, what a margin does is it just determines the, saw, or the, uh, the amount of pixels between the object. So... I did margin auto, but of course you could do like margin 60 pixels and it'll move it over 60 pixels. Now because I didn't change or I didn't specifically say what kind of margin, it did it for everything. So top margin, left margin, right margin, and a bottom margin. Now if I went margin left, 60 pixels, it would just go from the left. Now, because I did margin auto, what that'll do that'll basically just center your your um object. So that's what a margin is. Now you're probably wondering, well, what's the difference between this and padding? Um padding is actually inside. So if I as you can see here, if I wanted to move this over because it's it's right up against there, it looks kinda ugly. I'd use padding. Um, so yeah, so here, let's do some padding inside the wrap tag. So we will go padding, um, we'll do padding left of say five pixels. Oh, forgot to close that. Five pixels. And then it'll move it over five pixels. Now when you do padding, um, your objects won't expand five pixels. So we could do width say 475 I guess and they would go back to the size that we just had so there we go now if you want you could also go into your paragraph tag which would be this one and we could do a margin on this instead of doing padding up there of say 10 pixels and that'll also give us the spacing that we want so take away that padding Um, and really it's all it's all your preference see um, but you know you might find a time where it's better to use a margin and you might find a time where it's better just to use padding but I, I personally always use padding just because I don't know it's easier but usually you will use a margin if you want to specifically position something um, you know say I wanted to position this 50 pixels over here I would do 50 pixels and because you're doing a margin you're just doing it for that one specific element if you do padding you're doing it for the whole the whole div tag so you know that that's just some of the times that uh, margins and padding can be useful and we'll go over it a bit more in depth later on in the series but for now I just want to let you guys know what the difference or the main difference is between the two are. So um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.